The Asian American movement started to take form in the 1960s. While there were Asian American movements prior to the 1960s, these movements lacked a common base with each focusing on their own specific issues. In May 1968, UC Berkeley graduates Yuji Ichioka and Emma Gee started the Asian American Political Alliance and coined the term Asian American. Unlike prior activism, the AAPA brought together Asians of different ancestries by endorsing a pan-Asian ideology. An accomplishment of the AAPA was creating the ethnic studies major at many notable California universities. Many Asian Americans were inspired by the black civil rights movements. For example, Richard Aoki was a field marshal in the Black Panther movement before he helped form the AAPA. Kazu Ijimima and Min Matsuda founded the Asian Americans for Action, which was a movement also heavily influenced by the Black Power and anti-war movements. These Asian American movements raised political and racial awareness and created an opportunistic view of the future for Asian Americans. One prevailing issue in the civil rights movement has been the internalized racism against Asians. For example, the model minority myth is a stereotype that claims that all Asians are natural prodigies, particularly in STEM and music, through natural ability and a shared competitive drive. Although seemingly positive, this myth is just like other stereotypes claiming that all Asians are the same. They're meant to accept positions in these fields and are expected to succeed in them, which furthers the narrative that all different types of Asian cultures are the same and all Asian individuals are the same. Furthermore, this myth lends its way to microaggressions against Asian American diversity and individual differences in academics and culture. This myth has also had more destructive effects as it transpires through institutionalized racism. One example of this is in elite college admissions. In many predominantly white institutions, Asian American applicants have been discriminated against for the apparent academic success throughout their entire population. Harvard University, one of the top schools in the nation, is predominantly white. Internal documents recently revealed that the university conducted an investigation that showed that Harvard consistently rated Asian Americans lower than non-Asian Americans in non-academic admissions categories. Recently, as these trends are realized, groups have taken legal action against these practices. Court documents have shown that Harvard today engages in the same kind of discrimination and stereotyping that it used to justify Jews' quotas on applicants in the 1920s and 1930s. And in 2022, this case was brought to the Supreme Court and is now a landmark case for Asian American equality in college admissions. Asian Americans started facing discrimination in early 2021 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Across the United States, Asian Americans were getting verbally harassed, physically attacked, or shunned. This led, to the, this led to the creation of the Stop AAPI Hate Group, a national coalition formed by people across the United States to solve the discrimination against Asian Americans. The goal of this organization is to eradicate the discrimination of Asian Americans across the country. Another organization that was created when the attack started was the Asian Americans Advancing Justice, which is based in Atlanta. The organization was created in response to the, to the Atlanta spa shooting where eight women were killed six of whom were Asian Americans. The aim of this organization is to bring awareness to the discrimination of Asian Americans with the goal of achieving equality, fair treatment, and self-determination for Asian Americans. These organizations are still trying to solve the discrimination against Asian Americans, which is tougher due to the recent surges of COVID-19 across the country.